Hey guys, John here, we're in Pigments again, and there's a weird kind of dissonant patch I made a little while ago, and I kind of want to share the process with you, because it's very weird, and it's kind of creepy, and it's not really musical, so here we go, let's go to a new preset, and the wavetable, let's go to analog here, let's add all our saw waves here, the second one, let's drop this down by an octave, add full voices of unison, and then a lot of detune, so we have something kind of nasty like that. So what we're going to do now is, instead of multi-mode, let's go to the comb filter and change from the mode to feedback here. And I kind of set it somewhere around here, and I used a random over here, and let's go to the random settings here. And from Turing, let's go to sample and hold. So basically every note that we press is going to be a different value here. And we don't need that much of range here. So now let's add a lot of release here. Okay, so something we also need to do here, let's go to the utility engine, turn both of these noises on, and kind of crank these a little bit here. Now the volume can get kind of crazy because of all these spikes here, so the first thing we kind of want to do to protect ourselves is compress the crap out of it. So let's go to ratio of maybe 8 to 1, something like that. So we kind of have something like that. Maybe a little bit more release might be kind of cool. Ah, maybe a little less. Okay. So now we're going to go change this from reverb to a multiband compressor here. So we're compressing in a multiband. It's, it's, it's crazy stuff here. Okay, so now we want to kind of taper off a little bit of the high end. And I like the MS-20 for this. It's actually really nice. Okay, so here's where the fun part comes in. So we go to the none here, and let's add a first delay here. Quarter note's gonna be fine, something like that. Let's take a little bit of the high pass, and then a little bit of the low pass, something kind of like that. Increase the dry and wet. Increase the stereo spread, a little bit of fine. And now for the next effect here, let's go to none here and let's go to a pitch shifting delay. And on the pitch shift, I kind of brought it down something like this and also use the random here. So it's basically going to have a different random delay pitch change on each different note here. Increase some of that stereo detune. point is just making it dissonant and weird and kind of just bad sounding, right? And then we need to add a reverb, but let's do a shimmer here. And instead of making it all nice and pretty, let's kind of bring this down a little bit, make it a little bit nasty. Bring the modulation all the way up and maybe increase the size a little bit, something like that. And one of the last things we kind of need to do here for effects is EQ this, kind of take out some of that mud, which it's usually around here. Okay, so what we can do as well here on this frequency, let's use the first macro here to kind of give us a little bit of room, something kind of like this, and kind of bring it up to where it was before. So if this is up all the way, we're kind of in that same ballpark here, so let's put this as cut. Yeah, you can make some really crazy stuff with that as well here. And what I'd like to do for something as, as well is go to the macro 2 and put it on this cutoff as well. So we can kind of bring it up here. So if we want to darken it as well too. So cut 2. Something kind of like that. And what we can do as well, since we're already here, let's turn on the os oscillator here, the sub oscillator. And instead of filter output, let's go to direct out, turn this all the way down, use macro number three. This is kind of, I love doing something like this, right? So we just have that nice low end if we want it, right? So let's put that as sub here. And then basically for our macro number four, it's kind of standard to do the effects here. So the compression is kind of fine. Let's leave that as it is. And then macro four, let's drag this to the delay. That's 37%, so 0.37, something like that. And then over here, this is gonna be 20%. So let's grab this here, bring this down and 0.20. 
And then for the shimmer, we have 40%. So let's drag it here. And as you guessed it, 0 0.40, and then turn this knob up here and label this effects. <laughs> All right, so this is kind of where I'd call this done. It's kind of a creepy sounding patch. I like to call it the haunted dissonance, right? Haunted dissonance is kind of, you know, it's kind of creepy. It's dissonant. It's, I guess it's haunting. I don't know. But if you want to get this patch, there's a link in the video description below, and it can be yours if you would like it. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something, and we'll see you in the next video.